Today, we're going to talk about corporate VTubing. Phenomena that has taken over pretty much every streaming base on the face of the earth. VTubers just speak to y'all on an emotional level. And I, you know, I kind of get it. Like, you know, when me and Pippa had our show and I've had, I've had Cottontail on, they were, they're, they were fun as hell, fun as hell. But the difference is with like someone like Cottontail, who I have regular contact with is an independent VTuber versus somebody like Pippa, who is, works for a giant corporation. And as I've heard from many VTubers, including Pippa, it can get pretty What's the word? Predatory. So that being said, the corpo world can get very, very spicy, very, very fast as it did with old Doki. So Doki Bird, <laughs> old Doki Bird was a VTuber that was just having a good time amassing a following and then joined the uh, the old uh, uh, Niji Sanji. Is that is that am I pronouncing it right? Niji Sanji? Look, I'm from Alabama. OK. She got roped into it, and things got real spicy real fast. You're going to find out exactly how predatory these corporate VTubing companies can be. And if you think there is one that is not, you're, you're, be, you're probably being uh, naive. I know a lot of people like to say, well, a phase isn't like that, and oh, well, hollow, lot. yeah, okay. They all are, man. I'm sorry. They all are. I've talked to people on from every damn, every damn branch, and they all have the same exact... Same exact grievances. Now, granted, look, there's a lot of tools that these corporate companies can offer new VTubers. That's why they sign on, right? Because they don't have a following yet. They've not culminated a following. And they come on, right? They come on to these companies. They gather a following. And then suddenly, they see how much money they're missing. And also, they're super, they're just super micromanagey and in control of everything. It's like an MCN. Exactly, Squall Shade. A quick little story. I had Pippa Pipkin, Pipkin Pippa on my uh, show. And we would go back and forth on Twitter and like troll each other because that's what I do to my friends. One time I posted a picture of my workout partner who's also like one of my best friends. She's like a hot blonde girl. I posted a picture of her and I put an emoji over her face and I was like, don't mind me just hanging out with not Pippa. It's very obvious that it's not Pippa. Why would people be at my house? Also, why would she be a hot blonde girl? It's in great shape, <laughs> but it's fine. And look, I understand now I get it, but there's no going back after you do it. Right. So I, I get, I wouldn't have done now knowing what I know now, I wouldn't have done it, but Hey, it's, that's just how this works. Anyway. So Pippa messaged me and she was pissed and she's like, what's going on? And she thought I was mad at her and wanted to ruin her. And I was like, I didn't know that this was like a bad thing you could do. And, um, so I apologize obviously. Cause I, you know, it was, I, it was obviously, I guess it was a shitty thing. Cause it broke the illusion, as Kurgan said. You don't take off the head at a furry con, right? It breaks the illusion. The uh, a Phase Connect sent me a an apology structure. Phase Connect sent me how I need to apologize in a tweet, in a public tweet. They had all the bullet points listed, how I need to structure it, how I need to do it, all these things. So they sent me a template to apologize. And... When people tell me what to do, I immediately get angry. And it, it broke my heart because Pippa was the one for me. Me and Pippa were going to get married. I already, had, I already had it in my brain. I had this all picked out. I had the color coordination of the roses and the flowers. I even contacted the, the company. <laughs> I had everything picked out. Anyways, the corporate V2 world is wild. And there's this, there's this really, really good video that was released by Mugen. Mugen. It's called Documenting the Worst PR Disaster in VTuber History. And I'm going to pop that bad boy open, and we're going to watch it. All right, boys. Let's bring this shit up. We're going to watch it. We're going to have a good time, okay? So you remember to like this stream. Tell your friends that your boy Camelot is, a, is pissed off, and you need to join the stream and give him some love in the chat. Tell you tell you that you, you're, you, you love me and Daytona was a mistake. So, <laughs> you know when a situation gets to a point where it's so catastrophic, people start saying the phrase, I hope this gets taught at universities so that it never happens again? Yep. Well, <laughs> this is exactly what's been happening in the Niji Sanji and Selen Tatsuki situation, or better yet, incident. Because when I say that this is catastrophic, I don't mean to say it just in regards to VTubing. No, I say this in regard to the entire internet. Because this is one of the biggest cases of corporate mismanagement I've ever seen in my life. 
We're talking about a management team that didn't do anything about it. By the way, I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of corporate mismanagement in my life. And this is up there. And this has something to do with like not having a soul. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is, man. Internal bullying and harassment and let someone almost die because of their negligence. I purposefully waited until we got somewhat of a satisfying conclusion because yes, there is a good ending here, thankfully. And what ended up happening to the corporation or what is currently happening is hilarious. This is going to be a roller coaster, so strap in. All right, so here's the deal. To really understand the severity of the situation, you have to understand the ecosystem of VTubing in general. The biggest players in VTubing often are associated. Keep in mind, so this is what I was talking about a minute ago. VTubing has taken over everything. And although I do understand the appeal, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand how there's so many and so and so much like interaction with every one of them. You know, I feel like you pick one, like Pipple, and then you stick with Pipple. These corporations tend to be from Japan, at least the biggest ones, and they kind of work like music labels, where they literally, I mean, literally own everything. Yep. And yes, that also includes your VTuber model. Keep in mind, a lot of music, like a lot of bands have stopped signing with, with music labels because they're predatory. But if you don't have any, and I mean any, tools at your disposal when you first start, what is going to be the most attractive thing you can do? join a VTubing uh, corporation or company, right? They own what makes you, you. And it goes without saying, they also have access to all your social media accounts. They have the passwords. They can do whatever they want. They can delete whatever they want. Ugh. It's up to them completely. People will sign with them anyway, though, because they're attracted by the idea of this network, of these resources, of all the stuff that the corporation can do for them. Yep. Just like how musicians will still sign with music labels. Currently, the two biggest corporations in VTubing are Hololive and Nijisanji. Hololive is owned by its parent company, Cover, and Nichi Sanji is owned by its parent company, Anycolor. Now, you probably already know this. And we've heard tons of horror stories about Hololive and tons of horror stories about Nichi Sanji and, and fucking FaZe and all, fucking all of them. They all have the story, okay? By now from the title of this video and where we're heading with this, but the corporation at the center of this incident is Nichi Sanji's English branch, which is, of course, owned by Anycolor. But one thing you might not know is just how much Anycolor is worth. When it was put on the Japanese stock exchange in 2022, the worth of the company was at $2.5 billion. $2.5 billion. I want you to understand <laughs> how much money that is. Okay. What is the common phrase? Like, a, what is it? Um, A million seconds is 11 minutes. No, that's not right. So a million seconds is 11 days. A billion seconds is 31 years. That's how much money this is how much money does the vtubers see of this i guarantee you it's less than 25 million total across all of them that's american dollars yeah it pays to have anime girl avatars talk in front of a camera <laughs> vtubing's main source of revenue always came from japan but in 2020 during the pandemic's peak of loneliness nichi sanji and hololive saw an opportunity English speaking weebs. That's when the main culprit of the hour was created, which is Niji Sanji's English branch. Salad was in the second ever English branch wave, which is Obsidian. So there she is right here. This is old Dokebird, was in the second, second rollout of the English speaking uh, VTubers. Where is the loyalty anymore? Where is the loyalty? Think about this for a moment. And this is, this just goes hand to hand with corporations, right? It goes hand in hand with corporations. They always work this way. You could give your life to a corporation, and in one week, they will throw you away like you've never done shit for them. What have you done for me lately? What have you done for me lately? If you ever find yourself working for a corporation, and I'm sure a ton of you do, never accept when they say you're part of a family because you are not. What have you done for me lately? You are the number, you are the number two VTuber on the planet? Well, what have you done for me lately? Well, we, I, I pulled in... Over a hundred million dollars of revenue just for just from my VTuber model and my persona. Yes, but what have you done for me lately? Don't get caught up. You are just a number. You're not their family. If your corporation tells you, welcome to the family, run. She's right here, as you can see. But before even joining Nijisanji, she used to be known as Dokiber. 
Initially, she was drawing Twitch emotes and then started streaming. People loved her wacky personality and she was just having fun. She then joined Nijitanji's English branch under Obsidia alongside Rosby Lovelock and Petra Gurin. She was in love with the game Apex Legends. She would play that whenever she could. People quickly fell in love with her personality and she was truly known to care about her fans way too much, often making big sacrifices to make them happy. She called them her dragoons. But you know what? Since her first stream in July of 2021 with Nijitanji, things were going really well. Or at least, that's what people thought. Because at the end of 2023, news would come out that would turn the VTuber community upside down. Dun, dun, dun. It all started on Christmas Day, a day you're meant to enjoy with family. It couldn't have gone worse. The trigger for this entire catastrophe? A music video. Yep. Selen had worked on a music So this music video that Selen worked on, aka Doki Burb, had to fund it herself because the management company that has a theoretical net worth of 2.5 billion dollars did not want to fund it for her isn't that crazy you ever think how crazy that is and on top of not funding it what do they do <laughs> they take down the video in under 20 hours no explanation to the public shocking remember what i said about corporations and how they have access to all social media of their vtubers yeah that's what happened and she couldn't do anything about it all she could realistically do under the very tight contracts and ndas of a corporation is make up a vague tweet sort of explaining what's going on to her fans. In it, she says, Hello, I apologize, but management has privated the song. Please feel free to re-upload since a lot of money and effort was done by so many Dragoons, her fans. I'm really sad that this happened on Christmas, but I hope somehow you guys will still be able to listen to it in some way. So I should mention that even at this point, many fans were asking Nijisanji to treat their talent better and to stop giving selling such a hard time, okay? Even I have never not seen somebody or fans of VTubers not tell the management company to treat them better. It's kind of like the running joke that the corporations are terrible. They're absolutely predatory predatory and terrible. It's pretty scary. Even before all the stuff you're about to see, this was already a pressing issue. Her fans could already tell that this was getting to sell. And I mean, it is heartbreaking to lose so much hard work just like that. So they were understandably worried about her mental state. But no one could have been ready for what would happen two days after the music video got taken down. Because out of nowhere, on December 27th, she tweets on her account, I apologize for the silence. I've been in the hospital after an accident and will be staying there for a few days to be under supervision. I just got back access to my phone yesterday. That's not something you want to see your favorite VTuber yep. ever tweet out. Now look, at the time, her Dragoons did what any good fans would, wishing her good health, of course being worried, but hoping for the best. What many couldn't see at the time, though, is that there's something in this tweet that's very weird and off-putting. The Japanese apostrophe. As you can see from this tweet here by VT Screens, there are two examples of two different tweets, both made by another VTuber in the Nijisanji English branch called Anna Alouette. In the first tweet, a normal apostrophe is used, but in the second, a quote-unquote Japanese apostrophe is used, signifying that the first tweet was tweeted by her, and that the second tweet was tweeted by her management team. The implications of such an accusation is just beyond what any of us can process. This already in itself is a PR catastrophe, a disaster by every magnitude. But at the time, the only people who really knew what was going on were Selen, her emergency contact, we'll get into that later, Nichi Sanji, her parents, and her lawyer. But as far as everyone else was concerned, her fans, and even her closest friends, their only source of updates were her tweets. So four days after being hospitalized, she tweets, Thank you to everyone for the support since I've been gone. I'm discharged from the hospital and my parents are helping me after my accident. Thank you to my Dragoons for all the kindness and support. I will keep trying my best in the new year. You are what keeps me going. Now, of course, people were happy she was out of the hospital, but the concern was still there. It was very vague and people didn't know what was going on. But This is, this is about to get way worse, by the way. <laughs> so she's in the hospital, right? And she's not tweeting. Somebody at the management company is tweeting. So... This is very, very unnerving. She's hospitalized for attempting suicide. She spent an ass ton of money. And what you'll also find out very soon is that she makes like no money from this company. To produce content, she spends almost all the money she makes. Them taking down her music video obviously put her in a really messed up mental state. Imagine doing that. Look. And I'm not even kind of comparing the situation I'm in. When I was at Daytona, I dude, I, I dropped a lot of money at Daytona. A lot of money. And after practice, I knew that I was boned. And I felt real bad. And I felt bad ever I, all the way up until like now this stream, I've been in a sour mood. I mean a sour mood, dude. Because no matter, dude, sp somebody could drop 35 Red Boys right now. A hundred Red Boys. Wait. Yeah, a hundred Red Boys. And it wouldn't make up for Daytona. Imagine spending that much money on something you're passionate about 
for your fans and then your company that's got you on a leash deletes that shit immediately Ugh, i couldn't even imagine i couldn't even imagine that's that's terrible it's gross actually it's gross because these people don't care corporations don't care the people that micromanage don't care none of them care about you they don't care about the vtubers working for them they could give two shits they could give two shits they graduate pippa tomorrow if they wanted to but unfortunately as you might have concluded from watching this video so far things only got worse Two weeks after Selen's hospitalization, Nijisanji's English branch tweets, Due to unforeseen reasons, we would like to announce that Selen Tatsuki will not be able to participate in any activities at Anime Impulse Los Angeles 2024 on January 13th to 14th. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience and disappointment caused to fans who have been looking forward to this. And then they detailed that the fans were going to get refunds. Now, all the replies here couldn't care less about the event and are all hoping for Selen's recovery. They're very supportive and are pretty much just giving their thoughts and prayers to her. But this was the first time since she got out of the hospital that we got any form of updates on her. And it's been two weeks. People were starting to get worried. So another two weeks passed by, and now it's been one full month since she tweeted that she got out of the hospital. So at this point, patience started to run real thin, okay? Prompting her fans to rally around the hashtag, Aiden. where is Selen on Twitter, demanding answers just to know that she's okay, alive and breathing. This is the tweet that started it. If this statement comes off as asking for too much as a fan, I apologize, but I and many other Dragoons have been worried about her well-being, and I think it's gone long enough to not hear from Niji Sanji directly. The most important thing to understand here is that at this point, even if you watched VTubers she interacted with, they wouldn't mention her. Niji Sanji, her corporation, who has a responsibility to represent her, wouldn't mention her either. It was absolute radio silence. And what's even worse is that her close friends didn't even know what was going on either. Just wow. one day after the hashtag started trending, a friend of Selen, RPR, said, It's been over a month of pure silence and is starting to get concerning. It would be nice to know where and how Selen is doing at the very least. I mean, dude, uh, that it is very concerning. It is very, very concerning. Because you gen you genuinely care about these people. And I dude, I, I have I have this stuff happen all the time to me. There's a lot of creators that I care about that are friends of mine, and it's so hard to get them to respond anymore. And I just sometimes you just want to make sure people are okay. Things were starting to heat up, but of course, in the VTuber community, nothing is really one-sided, even when it comes to something like this. Some people still manage to find wrong things with that tweet and with that hashtag, defending Niji Sanji and defending Selen's privacy. This shows that Niji Sanji's English branch has huge problems because when a talent of theirs says they've been hospitalized and then disappears for a month, you can't just not say anything. Yeah. You can't just let the fan base fight within itself. That's gross mismanagement. But, <laughs> but there's- They don't care. They don't care. Always a but in the story if you think this has been mismanagement so far. Buddy, now we're getting into the meat of the situation because just a few days after Here the Where go, is hashtag was created, all of Selen's videos on her YouTube channel were privated, including past VODs. Her Twitter was privated as well, all simultaneously. And then a oh, mega-sized no. nuclear bomb drops on everyone's heads. The Selen Tatsuki termination notice. This was so massive that the day it happened, she's hospitalized for a, an attempt on her life. And they fire her. These creators join these companies because they don't have the resources available to grow their band. They're, the resources available to grow their brand. The companies will grow these creators. And then these creators are stuck. And suddenly, they're making basically a livable wage. Barely. It was everywhere on Twitter. Even if you didn't follow VTubers, you probably have seen something in reference to this incident. But before we get into why this is one of the most badly written termination notices I've ever seen in my life, one thing to keep in mind. There are two ways a VTuber can leave an agency. The first one is graduation, in which they pretty much leave on amicable terms and they make it a celebration, which is why they call it a graduation. They have a graduation stream to say goodbye and everyone lives happily ever after. Termination, on the other hand, is what happens to someone like Rioran, where the company claims that they've breached the contract in one way or another, so they're being fired. So just imagine, okay, you're a fan. You've been waiting one month to hear back from Selen after she was hospitalized and her company comes in and says, yeah, you know what? She's fired. Excuse me, what? <laughs> like, what? Damn. And of course, they also got community noted. But we'll get into that later. First, the terribly written termination notes. This is a very vaguely, very badly translated termination letter. We don't really get any specific reason as to why she got terminated, just very vague ones. I mean, look at this. They say that Selen has repeatedly violated the activity rules. The activity rules is something that all VTubers have to comply with under Niji Sanji, right? But then when you read into what the activity rules actually were, they say they encompass a wide range of issues, such as non-compliance with rights confirmation. Yeah, this is legalese, bro. This is legalese. So in America, there's a lot of states in America that are called right-to-work states. OK, what that means is a company holds the right to terminate you for any reason they see fit. Now, 
That doesn't mean they can wrongfully terminate you. But when they do, they just put the termination as insubordination, which is vague and covers whatever. Oh, it encompasses a lot of stuff. It's that's that's it's just legally to say, oh, it was a lot of things. Uh, so yeah. Information and authorization flows. <laughs> what does that even mean? What are we talking about? A jet engine or a VTuber's termination? But many of the things they were talking about in the first page are redundant because they're spoken about in the second page in more detail. And most of this revolves around the music video, which is why they gave it an entire section on this termination notice. In it, they say that she posted the music video without getting proper authorization from her management team because all relevant parties had to be okay with it. Of course, she was under the impression that she could post it because not only did Yes, at will, Captain, you're up. Sorry. She paid for the entire thing out of pocket, $15,000. But according to the community notes, Lily Peach, who the person behind the original song, had given full authorization to Nijisanji to use the song. But no, you know what? Let's take it down and not even tell the fans why it got taken down, right? So her tweet saying, management took down the video, you are free to re-upload it, also went against Nijisanji's rules. Because, hey, communication, we don't do that here, buddy. Nope. Still, though, they had the gall to claim that these actions led to various misunderstandings that damaged the reputation of both any... How would that damage the, the reputation of them? How would that damage their reputation for releasing a video? That makes no sense. He call her N Niji Sanji EN, buddy. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. She's not the one damaging the reputation right now. You are. Yeah. Because we are getting to the darkest section of the termination notice. In an effort to calm the situation, we sought to either publicly disclose the reasons for making the music video private or have Selen Tatsuki disclose them herself. While being mindful of Selen Tatsuki's physical and mental health, management did their best to communicate not only with Selen Tatsuki herself, but also her emergency contact. However, despite frequent communication with Selen Tatsuki's emergency contact while remaining considerate of her situation, we were unable to come to an agreement on how to proceed. The decision was made to temporarily remove her access to accounts on various social media platforms and video distribution services under the name Selen Tatsuki. <laughs> Dude, this is so much worse now that we know what happened. This is so badly written. So you have to ask yourself why they're even talking to her emergency contact. And you also have to understand what does while remaining considerate of her situation even mean? In any case, you couldn't stay curious about this because then there's another bombshell in the last paragraph of the notice. Despite our efforts, Selen Tatsuki demanded that any color should be held legally responsible. It means she's suing them. She claimed that she was no longer able to engage in her activities as a liver due to the decisions made by any color, was being harassed by other affiliated livers due to mismanagement, etc. By the way, as if it's like a little thing that you should ignore while refusing to acknowledge her responsibility for violating the activity rules. Moreover, Selen Tatsuki insisted that if the negotiations did not progress, she would proceed to release a statement regarding her claims to the public. This little sentence sparked a war on Twitter, okay? Damn. The fact that she was being bullied internally? Who Damn! The hell? Who's bullying her, boys? Because you know people are going to speculate. They're going to speculate, right? And of course, there's going to be VTubers working for the company that's going to overtly, like, suck up to management and bully her, right? That's how I see it. This is this is just a, it's like a normal hierarchy in any situation that you're in. Well, thought that this letter was going to make Niji Sanji look better in this. Yeah, I wouldn't have released this letter. <laughs> I wouldn't I would not have released this letter to anybody. Why would you do this? Situation. Because you know what the cherry on top is? Even Selen had no idea. She saw the termination notice as everyone else was seeing it too. So she got back on her Doki Bird. So she found out that she was getting fired on Twitter. Didn't tell her didn't contact her. She was fired because she wasn't able to do her streams for a short period because of her mental state, because the stuff that she's been, you know, dealing with mentally. They fired her for that. Also, when they knew that she was getting bullied by other other uh, VTuber personalities. And what she said is probably the worst thing to come out of this entire controversy. The attempt she made on her life. I will not be silenced anymore. On December, I was hospitalized for an attempt that was caused by a buildup of bullying from within and being in a toxic and poor environment for numerous months that led to my breaking point. I requested to leave first, but on more neutral terms on the 26th of January. So yeah, this is bullying. That so she gets on her Doki account and says the reason she was hospitalized was an attempt on her life built up by bullying in a toxic and poor work environment for numerous months. And keep in mind, keep in mind, Ninji Sanji was aware of this and still terminated her. It's crazy, man. What I mean when I say this needs to be taught at universities, this could not have been handled in a worse way. You have one of your top talents almost end their own lives over a toxic environment at your company. And your concern 
is your reputation? Like, I'm Jockey. sorry. That is ridiculous. This is what ruins your reputation, buddy. This right here, the fact that so many... You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of weird cancel culture in like 2015. You guys remember? There could be like an actor or a musician or anything, what have you. They could... St- you could dig up a tweet from 10 years ago or they could say something out of context in a video and every sponsor they had every company that worked with them would like w- without hesitation like denounce them immediately on social media think of johnny depp remember johnny depp everybody was chastising johnny depp for random ass allegations from amber heard and we know how that turned out right that turned out completely blown up in old amber heard's face they knee jerk react and they don't realize what the Strazan effect is. The Strazan effect is going to make this 10 times worse. But they don't care if you die. They care about their bottom line, always increasing, and their reputation. That's all they care about. People saw this tweet and understood what a terrible company you are. I mean, seriously. So, so far, we understood that she was bullied internally, almost lost her life because of this, and still wanted to actually go through a friendly graduation, saying goodbye to her fans without any more drama. But now that we know all this information, we have to take a step back on something very important. So here's the thing. (laughs) Niji Sanji self-reported themselves in the notice by admitting something they probably shouldn't have. As this Reddit post points out, Niji stated they stripped Selen's access from all accounts on December 26th, so these two tweets were written by staff impersonating her. Going back to the whole point of the Japanese apostrophe. So you're telling me that someone on your team tries to end their lives and the day after they do when they're in the hospital you tweet on their behalf and then you also have the gall to announce that they got out of the hospital they're with family speaking directly to their fans looking forward to the new year and you actually think this is a good idea this is insane absolutely insane man Niji Sanji doing a very great job of personifying exactly why people hate corporations to begin with, because they just see you as a number, and this is a perfect example of that. Furthering this point of not giving a single shit about anyone in the company, they threw all their talent, all their VTubers under the bus when they said that there was bullying and harassment and didn't give any names, because after it got out that Selen almost died because of this, people started speculating in the worst possible way about who was... Yeah, Sketch Therapy. Not only did they tweet, they tweeted her medical status, which I'm pretty sure if it's... Well, it's not in America, but it would violate HIPAA, right? Is it lawsuit worthy? I would, I, would, I would assume right there with the medical release that it would be right there. Whoever was allegedly harassing her from the livers needs to be known because if I support them, I do not want to any further. Yep. And many of them took a quote-unquote social media break also with the Japanese apostrophe in those tweets announcing the break. What? <laughs> The damage control is insane. They had, they got onto all their VTubers accounts and was like, we're taking a break from social media. <laughs> so now is when she starts to go. Here we down. go, boys. In very ironic Niji Sanji mismanagement fashion, they forgot to unmod Selen's mods on her YouTube Uh-oh. channel. So to raise awareness about the situation, they created a live stream that was never meant to go live and just spammed <laughs> the chat with links to Doki Bird's channel saying Niji Sanji f***ed up. They did not remove my mod. Please. Based based subscribe to doki bird on that stream chat on youtube <laughs> the hashtag sink the yacht started trending as well this meant that people wanted to sink the yacht of the billionaire ceo of niji sanji <laughs> after niji sanji had caught wind of based her mod one of her mods started a stream and they just started saying sub to doki bird <laughs> But wait a second, now that I'm looking at this picture, I just realized, why did this person resub for 28 months? Are they not aware Selen got terminated? Can someone tell them, please? <laughs> As you can see, everyone is spamming Sink the Yacht. Someone also added Niji Sanji to the list of Japanese black companies, aka a black corporation or black business Damn. is a Japanese term for an exploitative Damn. sweatshop type employment system. <laughs> Damn. As this was all going on, many people were coming out and saying that they were not going to work with Niji Sanji anymore due to this. Good. Good based so here we can see a clipper channel saying this here we can see a merch company doing this they've worked with Sanji for years and also height who makes pcs and had a huge collab plan with niji sanji straight up canceled it now look you're not gonna believe me when i say this and damn even a damn even other corporations are canceling their support god what a beautiful thing this is like the world correcting a mistake nature correcting a mistake <laughs> what a beautiful thing you know what you're right but but trust me on this even after all this, okay, Niji Sanji still managed to make it even worse. Yes, I know, I know, but it's the truth. They released. Oh, guys, you get you guys ready for this? Are you guys in the chat ready for this? This is gonna blow your asshole away. By the way, this on their investor relations page. 
impact of the decision to terminate the affiliation contract with the Nijisanji English Library on our financial results. This was two days after the termination, mind you. On February 5th, 2024, any color made the decision to terminate our affiliation contract with the Nijisanji English Library, sell in Tatsuki. The impact of this decision on our financial results will be negligible. <laughs> Oh Bro, my god. You had someone almost kill themselves. Oh my god. Okay, look, let me explain this real quick. They released this on their investors page, claiming after during the fallout, during all of this stuff happening, all this stuff exploding, they released this and say us firing sell selling, it's negligible. <laughs> you had somebody make an attempt on their life. They made an attempt on their life, and you're you're saying us firing her is going to be negligible. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the money, everybody. The money's going to be fine. What about her mental state? What about her fans? What about your other VTubers who are getting the, the brunt from this? Because a lot of these people aren't even involved in this situation, and they're losing subs. Is any move you make going to help the situation? <laughs> Can you do one thing right? No, you took you took control of her account, uh, her accounts. You removed her control. You illegally tweeted her medical status. Didn't let the fans know. Terminated her without notice. Not letting her know either. She finds out on Twitter that she's terminated, and you decide to release this. They simply don't care, McFly. They simply don't care. Oh my gosh. Anyways, back to the back to the show leave you didn't even tell them that they're leaving you terminated them even though they wanted to leave on friendly terms and this is what you have to say with everyone protesting that is insane to me yeah and they had never released a statement like this before on a termination ever even goldman Sachs had something to say about this assuming minor earnings impact from vtuber contract termination any color share price has fallen for consecutive days after it announced on february 5th that it had terminated the contract of nijisanji english streamer selling toxic we see minimal impact on company-wide earnings from terminating the contract of one vtuber and they argue that because the nijisanji english segment accounted for only 19 percent of company-wide sales they wouldn't be affected that much imagine taking financial advice from goldman Sachs. <laughs> <laughs> because they kind of were, not just a little bit, quite a lot. Because as you can see from this chart here, this wasn't a minimal loss of market value. Their share Damn. price tumbled 10% throughout the course Damn. of this whole controversy. This is the graduation announcement. It tumbled. Then they thought, okay, we saw the worst of it. We're cool. And then ironically, on the 7th, they put out the document saying, hey, this financial impact's going to be negligible, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> and then, you sure about that? You sure about that? Boom! <laughs> Minus 10%, wiping $152 million off their market cap. Now, yes, as I mentioned earlier, the company's worth over $2 billion, but losing 10% of your stock price will never, ever look good for any investor. Any color believes terminating selling Tatsuki won't negatively impact finance. <laughs> <laughs> Minus 10%. That's crazy. But while this is looking very rough for Nijisanji right now, the good news is that it's not the case for Doki Bird. It's a happy ending for her, thankfully. She got a manager and she cried when they told her that from now on she can actually get sponsors to fund her projects instead of paying everything out of pocket. Thank you God. see, it turns out that she spent over $200,000 just last year funding her own projects that Nijisanji would not fund themselves. According to her accountant, her mother, <laughs> she made zero dollars last year. That's how crazy it Damn. was. Her return stream that was done a few days after she came back on her Doki Bird account had over 120,000 concurrent viewers oh God, for like two yeah. hours straight. It didn't drop at all. And if you're not familiar with streaming, that's extremely impressive. Like esports events might get that kind of view count. And when she ended her stream, the total viewers that tuned in were around 1.1 million. That's crazy. And Niji Sanji could have never predicted any of this because they're so stupid. They could have been by her side celebrating her success if they just supported her and didn't abandon her the way they did. But hey, she's free now and she's taking it all very well. This right here is a quote from one of her most recent streams. She said, so apparently the new Suicide Squad, oh, very poor choice of name considering recent events. Anyway, <laughs> so she's taking it really well, which is great. She also did a vote to see what she should call her Dragoons. That is awesome to see, man. That is a win when you see somebody freaking get that much support. Her viewers now that she's Doki Bird again, and they all voted Dragoons. And she said, well, screw it. It's not like it's copyrighted anyway. <laughs> so the Dragoons live on. Meanwhile, this just came out very recently. Niji Sanji. Oh, oh no. Oh no. She is still struggling to keep this crisis under control. There was a huge Mario Kart 8 event planned with many of their VTubers, and they postponed it. Because oh. in their words, they want to dedicate our full attention to prioritizing and ensuring the quality of our livers well.
isn't this ironic? They say right here, we want to dedicate our full attention to prioritizing and ensuring the quality of our livers' well-being. When did you start care about the, the when did you start care about when did you start to care about your liver's well-being? <laughs> How ironic is that, dude? Where were you when someone needed your support? Very good question. This just seems like crazy damage control, and I doubt anything in management will change. I hope it does, but for the most part, it's just another corporation. Yep. Because just one day after she got terminated, they posted merch announcements. <laughs> think anything's gonna change wait i feel like my dog communicates and understands better than this company <laughs> oh my god <laughs> look if you're a viewer or a vtuber there are two things you should take away from all this controversy the first one being never ever under any circumstances trust a corporation nope. and the second lesson which i think is way more important than the first one is that no matter how bad things are looking for you right now there's never any circumstance in which you should attempt to take your own life agreed agreed dude it's insane it's insane so that's that video. And then this is the CEO uh, apologizing for the whole controversy. And I don't know why anybody in hell thought it was a good idea, especially this guy, for him to get in front of a camera looking like an angry, angry little man <laughs> and then poorly reading in English a, a bunch of cue cards terribly and soullessly. What did you, why were you, look, what were you thinking? Let's uh, see if we can watch this bullshit. And everyone who supports the VTuber industry. First of all, I deeply apologize for causing concern to many people. Please allow me this time to address your concerns. Uh, like, man, I don't know if the soulless resp response was the way to go. And especially the cue cards being like 18 feet long was probably not a good idea. There is nothing more soulless than a calloused corporate apology from reading cue cards. Dude could even memorize the shit. Or maybe just do it in Japanese and then have subtitles. First, let me apologize for a misunderstanding caused by the notice published on our investor relations page on February 7th. <laughs> Let me apologize for the notice we put on our investor uh, page. You were not supposed to see that. <laughs> After announcing the termination of Seren's contract, we received questions from investors regarding the impact this would have on company performance. The notice was published to respond to investors. In the notice, we unfortunately used the expression negligible to describe performance impact. Our wording lacked consideration for the situation and caused Nissan EN fans and everyone who supports the Buchiba industry to feel that Enigro Inc. undervalued the impact of Seren's contract termination or Seren herself. I deeply regret this outcome. <laughs> Man, look, I, I take this shit so not serious. I'm sorry. When you're reading a cue card and you're a billionaire CEO and you're reading a cue card and you say, I deeply regret the outcome. This will be rethinking how our communications in English is done. Like, bro, you're, you're not fooling it. This is the fakest shit I've ever seen in my life. Bro, this is worse than any. Th if we could count this in the YouTuber apology tier, this is F tier by a mile. And we'll be rethinking how our communication in English is done. Without a doubt, Seren was integral to the group. Are they claiming that it was the the it was a bad translation? Is why that they did this? Very very interesting. As a company, it is truly unfortunate that our relationship ended the way it did. What do you mean? What do you, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean it's unfortunate? You're the one that did the thing. It's truly unfortunate that you made these decisions leading to the outcome that you apparently did not want. Very strange to me. Very, very strange. We regret that the notice we published on February 7th was worded this way. We made it sound like our company does not value the hard work of our drivers. I deeply apologize. Next, I will address the feedback to our. You know what's weird? Hold on. You know what's weird about corporate apologies like this, especially this one? Do do these entities, these corporations, these CEOs, 
do they think that they just say the word apologize and it holds weight? Like, have you ever noticed that people like celebrities when they're forced to apologize, they'll be like, I deeply regret my actions. Do you just declare apology and you're forgiven? That's so weird. We take full responsibility for this situation where not only any girl ink, but also our rivals are receiving heartful messages. I deeply apologize to our rivals and to everyone who supports them. Company actions have led to the distress of our rivals and we are taking this situation very seriously. Please understand that some rivals may choose to temporarily step back from social media. Okay, keep in mind, real quick, keep in mind, please understand that some livers may choose to temporarily step back from social media. They already took over their livers social media and impersonated all of them saying they're going to take a step back from social media. It's all, this is all fake. He's saying right here, please understand the livers are going to take a step back from social media. And then themselves as a company went into their own livers, Twitter's, and said they were taking a step back. It wasn't even the liver saying it. It was them saying it. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. The management team continues to communicate with rivals to provide any and all support in every way they can. We will be implementing several new internal systems to ensure that the rivals can resume streaming activities while maintaining their well-being. Also, by establishing things such as better reporting systems, we aim to create an environment where we can better identify and resolve issues more quickly. This is Alira Pandora. Thank you for taking the time to listen to us today. Vox and Ike are also present here with me, and we would like to take some time to address the events surrounding Zelentatsky's contract termination. Hi, everyone. Hello. Um, to preface, we have discussed with any color staff and our legal team about what we are able to say. However, due to how sensitive the situation is, please do keep in mind that there are limits to what we're able to share. Both we, the live. All right. So people in the chat are saying, make sure you pay attention to the chat replay. I have it over here. Drivers and the company have been affected deeply and are taking the situation very seriously. Everything that will be discussed has been approved by our lawyers or is based solely on our personal experiences. Before anything is discussed, there is something very important that we, Niji Sanji Ien, feels need to be made very clear. All of us do not condone harassment of any kind to any of the... They, yeah, they're literally reading a script. Jesus says, greetings, Cody, proud EVS fan. Glad we came together to raise the money. Hang in there. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate you. Parties involved. After discussion with the members of Niji Sanji Ian as a collective, I volunteered for my channel to be used for this stream. Additionally, we've been told that there will also be a video releasing regarding the situation from Tazmi san directly a few hours following the stream. But what we say on this stream is our own words and our own feelings. Hold on. Hold on for a second. What we say on this stream is our own words and our own feelings. And just 20 seconds ago, she said this was all approved by our lawyers. And it's a script, obviously. <laughs> What the fuck? What? You can't say you your lawyers went through this and also say this is our our feelings. <laughs> Bro. Bro. I volunteered my channel for this. Bro. What do you mean you volunteered? <laughs> what do you mean you volunteered? <laughs> I would like to first apologize if my silence on the matter has caused any worry. Over the past month, staff received documents from Selene's lawyer containing examples of her claimed experiences under any color. These documents in question included personal information of some livers, and when it was sent to us, we learned that there was a potential that this information could be made public. Some of the information poses a risk to our personal safety and puts some of us at risk of doxing. Notably, one section of this document alludes to where Millie Anna and I live. However, there are also harmful claims Selen made in the document about some livers' personal information that we believe are simple. Bro, are they really trying to paint the Selen lady as a bad guy? That's how they're going to go. This is this is the route they're going. The route they're going to go is Selen is doxing us and she's bad. Bro. <sighs> this is what you get for paying your lawyer $8 an hour. You know what would really make this situation better? If we just say Selen is bad, bro. She's the bad guy. 
Can anyone just apologize? <laughs> Except for the CEO callously apologizing to his investors. Can anyone apologize, please? Simply untrue. I felt threatened and scared of speaking out about the situation because of the risk that it could pose to not just my own safety, but the safety of those around me as well. I'm very sad that this is how everything had to turn out, and I deeply apologize to all the fans who have been affected through this time. When Selene had posted the tweet about her cover being privated, several EN members reached out to Selene, and we expressed our concerns. We were genuinely concerned, and we wanted to understand the situation, as we were all in the dark about it. Once she notified all of us regarding her hospitalization, we immediately reached out to her, each other, and her manager to confirm her safety. Her manager also immediately reached out to her and her emergency contact, and kept us updated throughout the entire situation as well. It's been a very tough time for a lot of us, and I'm honestly not sure what else to say, but thank you again for everything, for waiting, and thank you. Um, Thanks, Amira. Um, no, you're no right. worries. Yeah, it's um, it's it's it has been a really really tough time, and uh, and it's had an effect. I've I've noticed it's had an effect on on, on everyone. It's had an effect on me too. So uh, I'm joining this stream to talk about my experiences with Selene, uh, to lend some of what I know to help um, help you all understand the context of this a little bit better. Uh, I know that a lot of you watching are going to have your own views and opinions on the situation, and so all I would like to ask is that you can take the information that I'm going to present at face value if you can. So, uh. This recent situation uh, began when Selene claimed on Twitter that her most recent song cover had been made private by staff, and she gave no context or reasoning as to why. In actuality, she had been asked to send the content of her music video to her manager in advance of the release date so it could be checked for content, etc., which is something that all livers agree to do. Her manager communicated with her about this very clearly, um, but she released her cover without giving management time to check it, and as a result, it needed to be made private. It was going to be made public again once the checks had cleared. Uh, management absolutely intended to let her release the cover once they'd made sure that it was okay to release. It's very important to establish this pattern of events had happened before on multiple occasions, including her Fall Guys tournament in uh, August of 2023, uh, a voice pack in May of the same year, and an outfit contest also in May. In each of these situations, Selene would be working on one of the projects I mentioned. She'd be given clear communication about confirming certain aspects with staff, as all other libraries receive and comply with. Keep in mind, these are the projects that she has to pay for personally that uh, Ijisanji doesn't pay for. Okay. Interesting. So, and also keep in mind, this this is obviously being painted that she's, they're throwing Selen under the bus 100% and painting her as a bad guy. That's going to be this whole thing, I'm pretty sure. And each time, she would refuse to cooperate. And when staff would react appropriately, she would make public statements that would hurt any color's reputation. And as these situations kept occurring, myself and other livers felt very upset and anxious. We felt that these statements harmed all of us as a group. Excuse me. So it's this context that I hope explains why myself and some other livers decided to approach Selene and ask about her handling of the latest situation. Wait, so wait, are these the these are, these are the these right here are the people that are accused of bullying her, obviously. Because they're saying right here that they they that's why they approach selling so these are these people are basically accidentally saying that they are the ones that approached her is that i'm, I'm reading this right which was her cover being made private so some libraries myself included asked selen why she tweeted about the cover in the way that she did uh, expressing that we felt it was unnecessary and harmful According to Selene's lawyer, it's this event that they claim to be a buildup of, uh, or, and what they claim to be a buildup of past experiences that led to accusations made by Selene that she was bullied and harassed. As you can imagine, this is incredibly serious, and I want to state that throughout my friendship with Selene, I did my best to support her in private and talk to her about any problems she might have been having whenever I had the chance. Having thoroughly reviewed the documents sent to any color by her lawyer, and based on what I know personally and have been told by Selene as her friend, Myself and other members vehemently believe these claims to be completely untrue. I feel very confident in saying um, that the way I and other livers communicated with Selene about this incident was fair and reasonable, especially considering our built-up anxiety over this repeating pattern of behavior. In my opinion, I do not think that it was a form of harassment. Also in the document given to any color by Selene's lawyer, it stated that Selene had secretly recorded me in a private voice call without my knowledge or consent. 
Now, I have absolutely zero memory of what I might have specifically said in that recording, but we know it was on the topic of the tweet that I had made around the time of AR Live's cancellation last year. From what I know, based on this document, uh, Selene had wanted to use this as proof of staff showing favoritism for some members over others, as at the time I wasn't reprimanded by staff having made that tweet. I followed this issue up with my managers, and I was told that they didn't reach out because they didn't want to cause further controversy at the time. Uh, however, I've been asked to delete other tweets on multiple occasions when I've accidentally broken a rule. In these cases, we're politely informed that when we should avoid tweeting something, uh, we apologize, delete it, and move on. The real issue here, however, is that someone I trusted and considered a friend not only recorded me in secret, but also that these recordings were held without my knowledge for almost an entire year. The fact that this was held throughout our friendship is really upsetting to me. Until now, I had always looked up to Selene as my senpai, and I felt really lucky to be her friend. Having to talk about this now and seeing how this has played out is, again, heartbreaking. Bro, they're just throwing her under the bus. <laughs> Damn! Damn, they threw her under the bus so hard. Oh my god, that's brutal. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Finding out that she recorded me without my consent is really upsetting to me. It's like, bro, like, you sound like a male. What do you mean this is upsetting to you? Come on. It says, the video, this video is a smear campaign. We don't condone any harassment. Even though they know their subscribers will go and harass her directly as a result of this. Why do they feel threatened if they did nothing wrong? No bullying. This is all lies. Yeah. Yeah, this is probably not the, the they probably should have not released this video. Well, obviously, they're forced to do it. Obviously, they're forced to make this video. Now, granted, there's never 100% proof, but I mean, obviously, obviously, you would never make a video that say my, our lawyers approve this and then not, you know, obviously, if you if you preface your video with our lawyers said, yeah, you're it's fucking forced. Selena told me privately about her disagreements with staff and her managers, and I had done my best to support her and to help her make what I thought were the right choices, even when she talked about wanting to graduate. For context, leaving Niji Sanji is always an option for livers. If she had wanted to graduate beforehand, she was given very many chances to do so amicably, and on multiple occasions, Selene had told us she planned on graduating, but would then go back on this shortly after. For example, she told me that she would be graduating on the day we hosted the Prism Cup, but as you know, this didn't happen. She also, after being warned by staff due to her repeated rule breakages in May of last year, told other livers that she was being terminated at that time, when, like I said, she had just been warned, nothing else. Because I trusted her so much. Dude, this is 100% all bad things. This is 100% all bad. And I listened to her narrative of half or untruths about her relationship with any color. This caused me so much anger on her behalf that I had considered graduating with her in solidarity, seriously. And I now know that my intention... And then I decided to make a, uh, a forced, fake, scripted video shitting on her for, for 15 minutes straight. Feelings at the time came from... omitted context and falsehoods. And that, once again, is heartbreaking. I'm incredibly happy with my job, and even in the face of times as hard as these, I really wouldn't want it any other way. So regardless of how I now feel about Selene having been my friend and having hurt me and my fellow livers in this way, her attempt on her life will never, ever be something to be taken lightly. Oh, I'm glad you threw that in there. Thank God. <laughs> Selene's a bitch. I don't trust Selene. I thought she was my friend. I hate her. Everything she said's a lie. Um, uh, I, She could have graduated. I would have graduated with her because I loved her so much. Um, But she's terrible and I hate her and I, I want to push her off a cliff. But also, uh, her it, the, the, her attempts on her life is will never be taken lightly. It's like, oh, the, thank God you said that right at the end there. I appreciate that. I recall the moment when I and, and uh, other livers found out about what had happened, and we prayed for her safety then, and we still do. Regardless of the outcome of the situation, I genuinely want nothing more than for Selene to grow and to be in a safe place where she can look after her health, insofar as me and, and the rest of the end can heal in our own way too. To those of you watching this stream, please, please leave her be. Harassment of any kind is vicious, and it's insane, and it has no place in this community. <laughs> well, thank God he said that. And now no one's going to do it. That's, 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 that's all I need to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Vox. <clears throat> uh, before we round things off, I also had something that I wanted to say. It's mm -hmm. going to be a little bit on the shorter side. Uh, by the way, hi, I'm Mike. Um, <clears throat> first off, I just wanted to say, like, preface this with, like, sorry if I have a hard time finding the proper words for anything. I'm a little bit all over the place right now. <clears throat> Excuse me for a second. 
I'm sorry. It's going to be hard to find the words to say as he reads the words that he wrote down to say approved by lawyers. For a very long time, I considered Selen as a good friend within Niji Sanji Ian. God damn, they're going to do all of them are doing this shit. They're all doing this. For a long time, I considered Selen a friend, but now she's a stupid bitch and I hate her. <laughs> I do have to say one thing. If this script was completely written by some other entity and there it's just their whole plan was to shit on her the whole time, it just live I'm losing this is hilarious. This is absolutely hilarious hilarious. Stream or off stream. We always managed to get on really well. So um, that's why it was so shocking for me to learn that any color had received these documents from Selen's lawyer. Learning about what was contained within these documents was to me personally incredibly saddening. Knowing that the things said within the document were coming from the very same person that I call my friend was hurtful and disappointing in a way I really don't know how to describe. Not only because of it made me now re-examine our entire friendship, but primarily because the document contains some information that we believe is incorrect that could be harmful for us, and it's just private information that is very terrifying to hold on if their information is in some kind of report by a lawyer is that public information how does this work i mean if their information is they if these are the people that their information's in it they're the ones that were bullying and harassing her i mean obviously right <laughs> i'm confused i'm trying to follow all this nonsense right now we're all very stressed but in spite of this I feel like the public deserves to, at the very least, be aware of the existence of these documents, as well as of, as of some of its contents, for the sake of transparency and honesty. We understand that the past week of radio silence has been really difficult for all of you. Rest assured that we have been working very, very hard to try and understand what it is that we can and cannot say about this. But we wanted to make sure that what we shared was as much as we were able to share. And uh, lastly, to round this off, I want to reiterate, please do not spread hate to anyone involved in any way, shape, or form, or anyone in general, honestly. Well, that was cringe. You know, I, you, you also know you, you know why it has such a long lead-in to when they start talking? It's like 15 seconds. It's because it's pre-recorded. Yeah, that was stupid. That was literally the worst thing they could have done. They, bo they all said the exact same thing. They threw her under the bus, and then they're like, also, uh, don't uh, throw uh, harassment at her. Thank you. It's like, okay. The issue is, is try not to develop parasocial relationship with deep, with VTubers. Because they are going to kick your ass to the curb as soon as they have to. And they're friends, by the way. But it is good. It's good that there was a happy ending for Doki. A lot of The issue is, a lot of these people that are working for these highly corporate environments think that individuals that are indie that are running their own shit like, are going to care. That's like when... Uh, when when Phase Connect demanded I apologize, I'm like, I don't work for you. You almost mistaked me for one of your employees because <laughs> I don't work for you. <laughs> like, that's the that's the weirdest thing about all this. The fuck was that? Hold on. There's a fire truck in my driveway. Got swatted. There's a thousand out there, bro. Look at this. You see this? <laughs> There's like 25 police cars and fire trucks. Yeah, they swatted me. Getting swatted live for defending, selling, talk, Suki. This is what I get for every time I talk about y'all VTuber asses. They get me. They come after me every time. Why can't I just have a good life? A good, a fun life? They're coming to, they're going to extradite me to Japan. Oh, God, Jesus, no. Um, It was, they were claiming that, um, I set and or not me, but that there was an arson fire. Like I set the fire on house or, or I set the house on fire is what they said. Somebody was mad that you're engaged to Pippa. Damn it. This is what happened. It was all Pippa's fault again. Um, did they say who made the call? They said it was a random number, but they claimed that they were my neighbor. Um, we survived the swatting. Um, so no harm, no foul. Yeah. It's probably the neat, neat, uh, uh, Niji Sonji. Fans, I would say I would think if it was anybody that probably swooted me, swatted me, that was it was probably somebody in that camp. Get on it, dog on it. Love you. Bye. Yeah.